Hey, yeah, welcome back to our stupid reaction, idiots. I'm Corbin. My eyes itch. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter. Twitter. Please follow us on Instagram and Twitter. It's fun over there. It's so juicy. Hey, we're always on Patreon. Follow official Twitter account today. We are reacting to, uh, you remember uh, just a, f a couple, couple weeks ago, I guess, we did uh, temples, right? Yes. A couple temples. A bunch, bunch of these right here. Yes. Yep. The one you don't have. True. Uh, but yes, the this mysterious temples. One I, I'm st still kind of confused by it. Says the ten richest temples in India. The ten richest, richest temples. temples. I don't know what oh. richest what they're talking about in terms of that. I think it's the the, the riches within it. Because remember, wasn't there one in the mysterious temple? Wasn't there one that was like there was a bunch of gold in it? Harboring gold. Yes. Mm. Harboring gold. So like if like harboring the, gold. So like the pyramids, whatever one has the most. Jewelage and precious jewelage. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's gem speak for how how things are. Hey, we want to know. Uh, we're gonna give you a value on this temple. What kind of uh, what kind of jewelage you got in it? So this one is called the ten richest temples in India. We'll be the judge of that. We're gonna see based on the jewelage. Here we go. Ten richest temples of India. Okay. Number ten, Kashi Vishwanath Temple. Varanasi. Is this like a it's, computer? It's a freaking computer. Right? One of the <laughs> oldest and richest temples of Lord Shiva in India, Kashi Vishwanath Temple still stands in glory despite being looted and demolished several times in the past. Okay. With a documented you history of over 3,500 <laughs> years, Varanasi is also the oldest living city in the world. It is estimated that around over out. 3 million domestic and 200,000 foreign tourists visit this temple annually. Number 9. Somnath Temple, Gujarat. Gujarat. It is believed that the moon god, Chandra, created a temple of gold, in honor of Lord Shiva here. Presently built on the Chalukya style of architecture, Dang. the temple has been destroyed and reconstructed several times by both Islamic and Hindu emperors. The results of a recently conducted survey reveal that the temple has accumulated a wealth of around 17,000 million rupees. Julie. Number 17, eight, million, the Golden is that Temple, said? Amritsar. Officially known as the Harmander Sahib, hey, the temple gets temple, visit right? from over 40,000 people every yes. day. Apart from its, its splendid it's exteriors, yes, it even is. the ceiling of this like temple has been designed with gold. Despite the fact that the total temple assets remains unknown, experts claim that the Golden Temple is one of the wealthiest temple in India. Number seven, oh, good. Vaishno Devi. Jammu and Kashmir. No. One of the oldest and richest temples in India, the shrine of Matavashino Devi is visited by millions of devotees from across the world. Center of deep-rooted religious beliefs of the Hindus, the temple has an annual income of around 5,000 million. Is this Every series year Brother around Sammy? 8 million pilgrims visit this temple this is and weird. it is claimed to be the second yeah, most visited temple after Venkateswara yeah. Temple. Go. Jagannath Temple in Puri Odisha. Temple number six is the Jagannath Temple Puri post a popular <laughs> annual Ratya. The temple has been dropped 18 times in the past. The temple received donation of around rupees 15 thou to 20 thou with six times more donations in the okay, so season. More than 30,000 devotees throng the shrine every day and around 70,000 per day in the festive season in 2011. So we have a stat that's nearly 10 years old. Stumbled upon 522 old silver slabs. Great name for a band of octogenarians. Old silver slabs. The old silver slabs. Maniksha, another temple. Whoa. The richest temple in Tamil Nadu. Attracts 15,000 visitors a day. Apart from devotees, thousands of tourists also visit this famous shrine to feast their Whoa. eyes upon this splendid ancient Indian architecture housing. Look at that. I am. It's hard to do that and read at the same time. Well, you didn't like the voice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 60 million every year. I was also among the 30 nominees for the new Seven Wonders of the World. So oh, they're nominating Wonders of the World every year? Do they do that? 
I guess so. This one's in Mumbai. What, do they disqualify one and then replace it? This is one of the most famous landmarks of the coastal city of Mumbai City, Vinayak. Witnesses around 25 to 200,000 worshippers visiting the place each day. It provides their devotees options of entering the shrine faster through special paid queues, which also helps in the increase in the temple's income, according to a survey conducted in 2011, the temple earned approximately 490 million rupees in just a single year, of which 450 million were garnered through donations alone. So it's like tithes? I, I don't know. Like... Yeah, a, yeah. Or, or, or offerings. The Baba Temple Charity Indians, irrespective of the region they have belonged to, have a strong belief in the miracles of Sai Baba. Uh, the temple gets donations with 350 crore each every year. The third richest temple in the country visited by the people of all religions. And, and what happens with those donations? They're put back into the temple? I guess so. In what form? Well, I guess we'll figure out. That's a, lot of, that's a lot of quiche. That's a lot of cheddar, as Jesse would say. <laughs> uh, Turumala. Uh, Believed to be the richest temple in the country, but after the reports disclosing the unbelievable amount of assets possessed by our number one, it's gone down to the second position. Dang. Most visited place of worship in the world. Really? Is that all money that they're looking at right there? That's definitely not. Hair. Wow. The temple makes own husband. Those are some big mishtis. Whoa. Is that a mishti? Number one. 11 million rupees annually. This is in Kerala. Whoa. Wow. It's the richest Hindu temple in the world. After its secret chambers were ordered opened by the Supreme Court of India, the amount of wealth found inside astounded the entire world. The treasure that was found was reported to include antique gold ornaments, golden crowns, golden bow sack full of diamonds. Recently, treasures worth 22 billion were found in it. That looks like the treasure stack in Pirates of the Caribbean at Disneyland. Holy cow. Times current market price, not to mention. Oh, is, wait a minute. Hey. Remember that door? That's the vault. There's probably more in that other vault. So that's the yeah. Same, that's the same. Uh, that's the same place with a vault that hasn't been opened yet. <laughs> They're like, well, we have enough here. <laughs> Come on, you get Geraldo Rivera over there. Open up that secret vault. There'll be nothing in it. Why? Why? Since India ordered it opened, why not order all of them open? I think because we remember that last one. They said there's been bad juju. There's been people have died when they've tried to open that up. So they've been like, we're not going to mess with that. Well, it's like in Indiana Jones when you look at the Ark mm -hmm. of the Covenant. Yep. That's exactly what happens. That's exactly what happens. It could be. Would you mess with that? Yes. You would, wouldn't you? Just to see what happens. <laughs> What's there the you go, India. <laughs> you need that opened up? Hire Corbin Miles. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> My face melts off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. I didn't know there were so many richest things. I will say that this video was awful. I think they all garnered from your reaction that you thought it was awful. Yes. Which is why I turned it off and made you work. I, I, I venture to say it's one of the most awfulest ones we've done. Most awfulest. Most awfulest. Most awfulest. Most awfulest. Yeah, see how that worked? Shut up. I'm hungry. Um, yeah, but the... Uh, said that last one specifically. Holy cow. Because it was saying there was one that was worth like 40... 145 million or something like that. Just yeah. one statue. Right. There's 22 billion dollars worth of assets in those temples that were open. Which is impressive because the, the last one, it was mostly all assets. And it seems the other ones were a lot of donations. Why do I feel like that's something, if The Office was still on TV, Dwight would be completely fixated on the day he's going to India just to have one of those things in his possession so he could be set for life. Fact. Yeah, fact. I will go to India, and I am going to get one of those artifacts, and then I will be set for life. That's, fact. This is the reason you weren't an office writer. <laughs> That's true. Um, but, yeah, because uh, I, I am wondering, because it did include, I don't know what you call them in the Hindu religion, or whatever religion it is. Well, that last one was a Hindu temple. 
Uh, but no, I'm saying the donation. Oh, right. I don't know if they could call them offerings. The, the only stuff we know of is the Christian... Uh, in tithes and offerings. Religion. Right. Yeah, so it's, you got you got your tithes and your offerings that you, you give to the church. Which, if you don't know what a tithe is, tithe means 10%. And so 10% of all earnings would be given to the church for the continuing support of ministry and stuff that's done within the church. And then there's offerings on top of the tithe. So I'm guessing it's similar to that? Yeah, I, probably. I, probably. I don't know if it's definitively a tithe where it's 10%. I think it's just come and bring an offering. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. which, uh, but usually churches don't equate that to their earnings, uh, I, I feel. Like, you don't see that, could, even though you could, you could, you know which churches are the richest churches. <laughs> well, the reputable ones will have open books mm-hmm. here in the U.S. The, the reputable ones will have their books open, and anybody could go and look at what they make and where they put their money. Mm-hmm. Just like, because they're nonprofits, just like any nonprofit, the books have to be opened. And you have to see and show this is what we do with our money. And reputable places will put, like I know of a few, they'll put like 75% of their total income. Some of them throw it right back into mission field stuff where there's physicians out helping sick people and helping with uh, places that need adoption and doing medical ministries and things of that nature. And they'll keep a small percentage for their staff and keep their staff small. And then there's other churches that are just frivolously throwing it out there. But you could, you should be able to check all of them mm. and see what they're <clears throat> spending it so on. So I'm wondering if it's similar to uh, uh, that. Yeah, uh, well, they obviously know the value, so they, and they clearly have to have people giving an accounting of what's coming in. I'd love to know how, how that's... Like, I know how that works in the United States with a nonprofit. I don't know how that would work in India, where if that's considered income for them. I'd assume it's similar. I would assume it's similar, too. nonprofit kind of thing. Um, but yeah, that was really interesting. Also the, uh, not the video, but the temples themselves. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, but the, uh, cause I'm so, they're so freaking old and like, yeah. I don't know if you saw a lot of them, like, cause there was one, the, the colorful one, like it had ridiculously ingrained I saw it for a split second statues just all over it. Yeah. Kind of like your mom. Oh my God. <laughs> you got a bunch in the face. Uh, <clears throat> and then all of, uh, there was a bunch that were just just covered in gold. I'm gonna punch you.